Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about the conditional statement in PHP and inside this conditional statement, we will study about the if statement. A conditional statement is in sense which helps uh, programs which decide which route to take based on how to condition is evaluate. Conditional statements are evaluated as either being true or false. Let's suppose here in this lecture we will learn about the if statement. Let's suppose this is our send text here. Here I just set some of the conditions here. If the condition is true, so that will accept this path and if condition is false, so that will access this path. This is just a uh, logic and the diagrams of the conditional statement right here. Means that the if condition is true, so that will choose some kind of true code and if condition is false, so that will check the conditions again and then if condition is meet, so otherwise true or otherwise go to the else condition and then give us the result false. Now here, what is an if statement? An if statement is a programming conditional statement that if provides true performs a functions or display the informations. Below are general examples of an if statement is not specified to any particular programming language. Which means that if your conditions is true, so your program will be run. Otherwise, if condition is false, so you haven't get any of the result right here. Let's just see how. Here in this example, you will see that I just write, let's suppose we have some kind of variable, let's suppose a time, which is equal to I just get date and inside the date, I'm just getting, uh, let's suppose this is D right here. Okay. Here you can see that I just write if, if means that if this time is meet, which is less than this date right here 20 sorry and here we write 20 and before that i am just writing php code right here so here you can see that uh, see that i just write 20 so simply execute that echo and here is said that this is sunny day right here okay hope so you understand now and then i just close this code right here to writing if statement you have to write if as the keyword right here then you have to write parenthesis and inside this parenthesis you have write your conditions right here hope so you understand now now here you will see that that our code here is checking inside the browser right here and we have an error in line number 10 right here where you can see that this is closed with a semicolon right here okay now i just run this code so you can see here my this condition is doesn't meet here so that's why it is not giving me any of the result right here okay here i just write this is 19 then we, I will run this code so no result here I just write 25 no result okay now I just turn this to the hours and here I will write 20 again and run this code so you can see here this is the sunny day why this you can see here the PHP if statements execute a certain code if the condition is specified the next to it are true the code I have write in this example you can see here which is you can see that which is below the displayed text okay which is this is a sunny day right here if the local time which is 20 firstly I will get the day right here date right here which is D now I just get hour right here so you can see here my hours here is less than 20 you can see here so that's why this show me the output as that this is the sunny right here 
hope so you understand now that how this php statements work now after that you can see here i'm just creating one another statement right here let's suppose i have the variable name uh, like abc this is variable name which is abc right here okay and abc which is equal to let's suppose i am just writing that good day okay here you can see that i just close this code right here after this here you can see that i am just providing the if statements if a statement here is condition that if my variable abc which is equal equal to here i just write that this is good day so here execute the echo that your day is awesome okay here you can see that then here i will write single line break tag here and single line break tag here and after this i just close this tag and here is write echo and here is write hi this is good day okay now here you can see when i just run this code so you can see that this is sunny day and the day here is awesome just because of here you can see that my this condition and this condition is meet right here means that my variable and the if conditions which is abc which is equal equal to so here i just get the equivalency sign which is equal to good day simply print your day here is awesome and you can see here that your day here is awesome and at the last you can see here that will print this statement that hi is a good day hope so you understand now here that how our if statements is work in a php if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in last lecture you have seen that we studied about the if statement in a php and you will know that how a flow of the program in the if statement is work like if the condition is true so that will execute the result or if condition is false so there will be no result at that state now here let's suppose we have some kind of statements right here and if condition is match right here so that will give us the result right here which is true and if the condition is not match so that will go to the false result right here okay and that will move to the else conditions right here and that will show us the result hope so you understand now now let's just turn to the example of the if and else statement in a php that you will see that how this if else statements work okay here you can see that that i just write this php code firstly now here with the help of if as a keyword i just create the statement right here before that i just create one of variable right here which is equal to gender and gender which is equal to let's suppose the gender here is male hope so you understand now now here i just write if statement so if condition here is you can see that if gender which is equal equal to female so simply give us the result right here which is echo and that is female right here okay and if gender is not equal to the female so that will go to the else statement and here inside this else statement it will go to the echo and here i will write that sorry for that and here i will write that this is male right here okay 
and this is female right here and now here you can see that this will male right here so as you can see that how this codes work firstly that will check this variable which is gender m which means that if the gender here is male so that will execute the result right here if means that if the gender here is male so that will execute this result and if this gender is not matched right here which is m so that will go to the else conditions right here which is the echo and male right here now here you will see the output of that and here we are getting the result here so line number 12 where we have write that if gender is equal equal to and here okay and now i will rename this first so this is else statement okay here you can see that now i just run this code so yes okay else statement and now run it again so you can see here my this code is going to the else statement right here which is just because of here you can see that i just write gender which is equal equal to male and i just write if statement so my if statement here is false so if this statement is false so that will go to the next statement which is the else statement right here and execute the else body of the code right here now here you will see if the gender is female so what will be the output i just refresh so you can see here this is the female right here just because of my this if statement is meet right here hope so you understand now that our if statement is meet so that will execute the f body and if statement is not meet so that will go to the next condition and show us the result one another example what i am just showing to you which is if and if here is age is greater than i just write 20 and i just use and sign here and and here i just write if variable age is less than 30 so execute here which is let's suppose i just write show no sorry echo and here i just write that elder right here okay and here i just go to the else condition so else here is i just show that if these are the not match here is right teen ager run this code and we are error in line number 22 where you can see that that if age is greater than 20 and then here i just write and sign and and age is less than 30 right here so you can see here that this is echo and yes okay this is also echo right here or i will show you some of this program is a different way right here so you can see that i just remove this and here remove this as well here i just write that this is the age right here and age which is equal to here i just write that this is 19 this is here i am just writing echo and then i just close this php code right here okay now here you can see and this is a semicolon here now i am just run this code right now so you can see here that will show us the result here which is teenager this is just because of here you can see that the logic right now now our age is 19 right here okay and our condition here is age if age is sorry age is less than 20 so execute sorry age is greater than 20 so execute the result here which is elder so our age here is 19 so you can see here i just write here teenager inside this else condition so that will terminate this conditions right here and that will this program is go to the else conditions and show us the result right here which is the teenager right here hope so you understand now that how 
this if and else conditions work right here. If you find any of the problem regarding this lecture, please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talking about the else if statements in a PHP programming language. Else if as it is name suggests, it is a combination of if and else statement. Like else it extends an if statement to execute a different statement in case the original if expressions evaluate to false. However, unlike else, it will execute the alternative expressions only if the else conditions or expressions evaluate to true. Let's suppose here you can see that we have the if statement and if this statement is not meet, that will go to the one another if statement. And if this is also not meet, then that will go to the else conditions right here. Or if you have one another if, so you can write if as well. Let's suppose our last example, I just write age is 20, here you can write age is 40, and here just write age is 60. If 20, 40, and 60 is not meet here, that, that will go to the else conditions right here. Let's just see in a core programming that how this statements work. Here, I just write if statement, sorry, firstly I have write PHP, then code, close this PHP code right here. Now here I just write if a statement. If here I just create age which is equal to here I just write 20. Firstly, this is 20 age. Now here I here I just write if age is less than 20. Simply you have to write that echo and echo here is that you are teenager. Okay. Now here, this is our first type of statement right here. Now, if this statement is not meet, then that will go to the else if condition. Okay, and here that will write the statement, which is the statement here that age is greater than 20, or here I just write age is less than 40. Here I just write that that is echo and echo here is this is younger okay and at the last that will go to the else condition right here and here that will show me the result right here that old okay let's just see this code into the browser so we have an error in line number 21 where we are writing line number 21 yes okay i just missed a semicolon right here now refresh so you can see here my age here is younger this is just because of here i just write 20 age and here this first statement tell us that if age is less than 20 means this is starting from 19 to 0 so this is the wrong statement right here then this program is checking one another conditions right here then if age is less than 40 and greater than 20, so my age here is 20 right here. So that will show us the result here, which is young. Okay, here you can see that. I just write age is 50 right here. So that will show me the result here, which is old. So that will terminate this statement, this statement, and that will run this statement as well. Hope so you understand now that how this if statements work in a PHP programming language. If you find any of the problem regarding to this else if a statement in a PHP, please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. And in this lecture, we are going to talking about the switch statement in a PHP programming language. A switch statement is used to perform the different actions based on the different conditions. Using switch statement, we can specify multiple conditions along with the code to be executed when the conditions is true. Let's just see how we do it. Here, 
I just write PHP and I just close this PHP tag right here. Now here, let's suppose I am just writing number and number which is equal to here, I just write two. Okay, here I just use switch. So switch here is my keyword to implementing the switch statement right here. Now here is write if switch is number and here I just write the cases here. When you are just declaring the switch statement right here, so you have to add the case with that as well. So implementing the case, case is a keyword. Then here I just define this is the case number one. And here you can add this with a colon right here. Just like our if statement. So you have to write this case as well. So here you can see that I just write echo and here is write that the number is, sorry, here I just write the number is one right here okay if case number one is meet so if this case is meet so all of the other cases right here will be terminated which means that if this case is run right here and if this case is meet with this statement right here so next if you have next 100 cases so every 100 cases will be terminated if we see the example of the else if right here so that will execute Firstly, if a statement, then else statement. If the statement is meet, so that will also go to the next statement and check the next statement as well. And then flow is come back to the else statement and then that will run this program. But in switch statement, the scenes are different right here because if your case is meet right here, simply you have to use break statement to break your program. Then that will terminate all of the other cases right here and that will simply execute this case. So less time which is used here. Now, I just write, this is case number two right here. And the case number two here is equal. And here is write, the number here is two. Okay. And I just close the score. And here I just use break as a keyword to break my program right here. Now, after that, you can see here, I just create two cases right here. And if these both cases are not meet right here, so that will simply go to the default and that will go to the default statement. And after this default statement here is write echo and here is write this number is unknown. And I just close this code right here. You can see here. Okay. This default statement work as the else statement right here. If any of the cases are not meet, so that will simply go to the default case and that will run the default case right here. Now I just run this code here. So you can see here now that how this program flow is working right now. So you can see here that the number here is two. This is just because of that's meet with the number two right here, you can see. Hope so you understand now that how this break statements work in a PHP programming language. That simply that will check this condition. And if this condition is meet right here, that will break the program right here, run this program and terminate all of these next conditions right here. Hope so you understand now that if you find any other problem regarding this lecture, please let me know. And thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about the for loop in PHP. There are the different types of loop which is available in the PHP programming language, which are for loop, for each loop, nested for loop, while loop, and the do while loop. Loops are used to execute the same block of code again and again, as long as the certain condition is made. The basic idea behind the loop is to automate the uh, repetitive task within a program to save the time and the effort. Let's suppose here we have some of the statement like if we have a is less than 2. Okay. And if you want to execute this statement 10 number of time at a low level stage, we have write this statements 20 numbers of time 
but with the help of loops you have to write simply you have to use do while loop while loop for loop for each loop so simply execute this statement 10 number of time so that will execute 10 number of time right there now here focused on the for loop only so for loop it's it is through a block of code until the counter reach the specific number or the for loop statement is the most complex loops statement in the php you often use the php for loop statements when the numbers of executions is predetermined even through the php for loop statements write more functionality uh, than that how you can see that if i just define for loop so for here is a keyword okay so if for loop is running the conditions or some kind of conditions right here if this certain condition is meet so that loop will be terminated otherwise that will run okay here i will tell you uh, more about uh, the for loop which is that for loop can be used to traverse the set of code for the specific number of time okay let's suppose you have write 10 so that loop will be executed 10 numbers of time okay or it should be used if the numbers of iteration is known otherwise that will use otherwise you will use the for uh, while loop so we will talk about the while loop in next upcoming lectures here just focused on the for loop right here so what is the for loop and how we declare it simple firstly i have to write php code then close this code right here now here i just write for for is a keyword right here now here i just write for a which is equal to one here you can see that this is the ident uh, identity of the variable here and he this is a variable and the value here is one okay now here you have to write semicolon then here i just write a which is less than or equal to five and then after that i have write that that here i just write a plus plus which means that this is a increment operator right here we already studied about that now here make your concept this is i just write number one here i just write this is number two and here i just write that this is number three so here as you can see that these are the three expressions what i am just using right here first i am just taking number one right here which is dollar sign and a and a which is equal to one this means that you had in initialize your value right here okay then here you can see that i just go to the number two right here here i just write number two is less than or equal to five means that this a is less than or equal to five so here we said that this is the condition of this for loop on number third here i just write a which is plus plus so here you can write plus plus or minus minus this is up to you so this means that this is increment and the decrement operator right here so as you can see here these are the three expressions right here where this is the initialization expressions this is the condition expressions and this is the increment or the decrement of expressions right here so here as you can see that first one the increment sorry first one the initialization expressions always be evaluated once when the loops statement is first reached you typically used initializations to initialize a loop counter variable you can see here where you can write one two three four this is up to you then you had seen that this is the condition expressions which is evaluated at the beginning of the each iteration this condition expression is used to control whether the loop continues or not if the condition expression evaluated true the loop will continue his result if it is false to the loop is terminated at the false state for example you can use the condition expression to the test loop counter as well we will all, uh, we will test the loop counter here in this lecture as well then we have the increment 
or the decrement operator, which is the plus plus signs and the minus minus sign. This ex expression is evaluated at the end of the each iteration. It is often used to change the loop counter variable. Let's suppose you can see here we have the value of condition is 5. This means that that loop is starting from 1. So here at first stage that will starting from 0 which means that 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. Then here it will go to the second iterations. Here it will write 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Then here write 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. Then here it will write 3 plus 1 equal to 4. And when it, it's reached to the 5, so here it will write 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5. Okay, so this increment and the decrement operators work like that. If you use decrement operator, so instead of plus, you have to use minus sign at this stage. Hope so you understand now. Now here, you will see that I just write here and here you have to write echo and the echo here is I just write the numbers are and here I will write dot and I just write dollar sign sorry this is the dollar sign and here I just write a and then I just write dot here I just did a concatenation so I just tell you that dot and then you can attach some of it so this means that this is the concatenation right here and then you have to write a beer tag right here which is for a single line break now I will tell you that how this programs work firstly that will go to the start conditions right here okay which is starting from the one right here then this expression is evaluated here where it will check this expressions which is the initial expressions right here okay then after that this loop will go to check the conditions right here which is a is less than or equal to 1 or not t okay if this is false so loop will stop his work right here okay if this is true so then that will go to the body of the loops and then that will set the increment operator right here okay here that will go to the body of the loop and then after that that will go to the increment or if you write the decrement operator so that will go to the decrement operator hope so you understand now that how this loops work so every loops work like that here i just run this code and you can see here inside the browser so you can see here i just execute one statements into the multiple number of times right here hope so you understand now that how we used for loop and how we work with it and what are the for loops and how this for loop works so i will tell you that that will starting from one and that will go to up to five so here you can see that firstly that will write zero plus one which is equal to one then one plus one which is equal to two then 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 then 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 and then 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 right here same is the case like that hope so you understand now if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture, we are going to talking about for each loop in PHP programming language. The for each constructs provide the easiest way to iterate the array elements. It work on array and objects both. The for each loops through iterates over an array of an elements and the execution is simplified as finish the loop in less time. Comparatively, it's locate the temporary memory for the index iterations which take the overall systems of redundant its performs in the terms of memory allocations like for each loop is mainly used for looping through the value of an array remember that 
and its loop over the array only and each value of the current array elements is assigned the value and the array pointer is advanced by one to go the next element in the array so this is just a for each loop definition let's just come to the example of that and we will see that how this for each loop work in a php programming language for each so for each here is a keyword here to writing your for each loop then here you have to define your array as well here you can see that i just write this is array and array which is equal to here you just write array as a keyword so i just define the array of somehow you can say that these are the array of let's suppose php then we have the array indexed here is let's suppose we have the array index here is php then here i just write java then here you can see that i just write this is the array index which is mysql as well okay so i'm just creating three index right here which is you can see here zero one and two right here okay now here you can see that i just define for each loop so inside for each loop you have to access firstly which is your array name okay then you have to define this array name as somehow you are creating variable or anything okay if you want to create vr variable vr1 vr2 so this is up to you you can write any of the name right here okay now here you can see that after that i just go to the echo statement and inside this echo statement i just want to print this variable right here okay and then here after that if you want to give it the single line break so simply you have to write this vr tag here okay now this is very simple that you are create working with a for each loop right here for each is a keyword right here and then array and then simply print this statement right here now here you will see that in the browser i just run this for each loop so here you can see that java and my sql as well hope so you understand now here you can see that the for each loop in a php is used to access the key value appeared for an array only this loops only work with array and you do not have to uh, initial, initialize any loop counter or set any conditions for the existing from a loop everything is done internally by the loop only you can see here i just declare the array and then with the help of for each loop i will get all of the locations or the addresses right here hope so you understand now that how we work with this php for each loop if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about the nested for loop in a php programming language the nested loops means that a loop inside one another loop which means that if we have for loop so inside this for loop we have one another for loop that will check one another conditions right here hope so you understand now now we will see that how this nested for loop work in a php programming language here you can see that let's suppose we have a variable here sorry here i just write php and then i just close this php tag right here now what is the nested for loop right here here firstly i will run a very simple example on that for loop and then uh, nested for loop and then we will move to another one here you can see that we have i and i which is equal to here is right zero okay then here is right i which is less than or equal to let's suppose two three or four so here i just write five okay and here is right i which is plus plus okay here you can see that i just create one for loop right here 
which is our you may say that this is our outer loop as well now here we will go to nested about this for loop so here is write for and for here is here is write dollar sign i and j and j which is equal to here is write zero then here is write j which is less than or equal to here is write five and then j plus plus right here and which is as right j plus plus right here okay here inside that i will write echo and echo here is firstly that will print i and then that will print the j here okay here you can see now the program logic here is firstly that will run the outer loop after checking the condition of this outer loop that will go to the inner loop right here and that will execute the result of that inner loop right here okay here you can see that i just run this code right here so we have an error in line number 11 where you can see here that there is for loop and for which is okay yeah here i just write column okay now go back to the browser and run it again right here okay here you can see that so our code here is working right now but uh, i just go back to the code right here and check the conditions again okay so it's not showing me the result just because of here i just not close this code right here now i just go back to the browser and refresh it right now okay here you can see that i just uh, going to add some of the echo statements right here and inside this echo statement i just write br tag okay and then close this statement right here now here you can see or this is showing me like this one so i just remove this and here i will write br tag okay now here let's check so here you can see that that a loop inside one another loop how it's work firstly we have the for loops where we have condition which is less than or equal to five and then we have another for loop inside this for loop where the condition is also less than or equal to five and our initial stage conditions here is zero and zero. Firstly, you can see that zero plus zero, that is zero. Then zero plus one, which is one. Okay, then one plus one, which is two. So that will run the loop five time. Okay, each loop will run here, which is five time. Okay, and that will add the conditions five times right here. Then after that, here you can see that this is zero then this condition here is one then here this is two then here you can see that this is three then four and then add the last five so you can see here every loops is running five time right now now here you will see that i just turn to one another example with that here you can see that we have some kind of this for loop okay here you can see that i just write this loop is run two times and this loop is also run two times right here okay here one another process you can do right here where you can define your integers type let's suppose we have the variable i is also an integer type right here and here you can write this is the variable j as well okay you can do like this as well okay this is not uh you you say that you can uh, you can also declare these kinds of stuff right here okay so i just remove that and here i just removing this and now here you can see here instead of this or instead of these uh, loops right here i'm just creating the echo right here that we are or here is right we are learning php okay and here i just also write a beard tag as well 
now here when i just flash this or uh, here you can see that we have an error right here where we have the statements here are running php and then br tag so that is not showing the output right here so as you look at the code so where we have take the html code so for that case i just didn't write php right here so there was an error right here when i just refresh this so you can see here this code is completely running to me that we are learning php php okay which is 3x3 so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which means that that will run three time that will run three time and that block of code will also run three time right here so this is a nested for loop in a php programming language if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talking about the while loop in php php while loops execute a block of code multiple numbers of time this functionality is also available in the other programming languages such as java and c++ as well they are used to execute a block of code a rapidly until the set conditions get satisfied when to use the while loop while loop are used to execute a block of code until a certain conditions become true you can use a while loops to read records turned from your database queries as well the while loop where the while loops statement will loop through a block of code as long as the specific conditions are not satisfied or you may say that let's suppose a while loops which is check the conditions first if this conditions evaluate to true so the block of code is executed that stage and that will become the result value as a true if this is false or false so the execution of the while loop is terminated at this stage here you can see that we have let's suppose a conditions right here if this condition is true right here so that will execute the block of code if the condition is false here so that will simply jump out to the another conditions and that will terminate all of these conditions right here same as a case like if condition is true so that will go to the another condition and then check the conditions again and same is a loop like this one okay here you can see that in a coding example i will create a while loop so I just write PHP right here and after this PHP I have to write let's suppose a variable a which is equal to here I just write one value here okay after this value here what I am just creating which is the value number one which is my variable here here I just create while as a keyword to declaring the while statement you have to first write let's suppose this is our variable name which is a and a here is less than 5 okay here you can close your code like this this is just a syntax of the while loop here and here i will write echo and here i just write that number and here i just get number from a is and here i will concatenate a here okay you know how we concatenate our variable here and then here i will write a beer tag as well and i just close this code right here okay now here you can see that after this statement here that will be a one line break right here now here you can see that i just write a which is plus plus so i just set the increment operator as well now here you can see that i just run this code right here and we have an error in line number 16 so yes okay and here we didn't add a semicolon so when i just run this code right here so you can see here the number is one the number is two three and four so that will start it from the one so that's why that will show me the four values right here same is a case like our for loop example so we do this kinds of stuff with a while loop as well here you can see that 
beside that here you can see that i just write while loop which is uh, a which is less than five okay so here you can see that i just said that the number here is i will get firstly the numbers from this variable and then here i just can continue this numbers right here okay and then br tag right here hope so you understand now that how we can create our while loop this is very simple in a php programming language if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture After studying the while loop, we just turn to the do while loop right here. The do while loop is a little different all from the loops in PHP. This is just because of it will execute at least one time. What does that mean? If the conditions here is true or the conditions here is false. So do while loop will execute once at a time. Even I just tell you that if the condition is false as well. Can you guess how? So well because the condition is checked after the loop executions. Hence, the first time when the condition is checked, the loop has already executed once. What is the syntax of this do while loop here? So firstly you have to write do and then here after this do statement that will go to execute the while statement right here okay here i just close this php tag and here i just write this php tag right here okay here you can see firstly we have the do and then we have the while loop as well now here i'm just creating one of the simple example with the do while loop here here i just take my old example a which is equal to here i just write one here i just said that do so do here is i just write like uh, I just write here, which is echo, okay. And echo here is I just write that this is do while loop, okay. And I just close this loop right here. Then here I just write echo, and echo here is I just use a br tag right here. And I just close this loop right here, okay. And here I just write. Let's suppose a which is the increment operator right here and a is plus plus. Now here I just go to the while statement and inside the while statement here I just write that a and a here is less than I just write 5 or if you want to write a is less than 6 or 10 this is up to you. Okay here you can see that. So this is how we are creating the do while loop right here. Hope so you understand now. Okay here you can see that. I will run this do while loop right here so you can see here that this is do while loop that will starting from the one and that will go up to five right here which is one two three and four values between these numbers you can see here here you can see I just write that that is let's suppose six okay here you can see that when I just run this code so that will execute one at a time you can see here I just tell you that if the condition is false right here this do while loop will execute itself one at a time okay hope so you understand now that how this do while loops work and what is the actual work of the do while loop in a PHP programming language if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture Array is one of the most vital part in uh, every programming languages. It is also important to know what facilities are built in functionality or built in functionalities a programming language provides. PHP provides a very strong set of such efficient ways to deal with array's data type. Time to time, it's or time to time I have discovered several usage of php arrays which not only saved my time but that is also made my writing efficient or writing a efficient code it will still often need to reverse these functions 
to memorize and use again. In this lecture, we will learn about the arrays and you will see that what types of array we have and how we use them and what type of array we will study, uh, study in this lecture. So here I just tell you again that arrays are the complex variable that allows us to store more than one value or a group of values under a single variable name. Here it is a very common example that if we have like a country list and for every country list you have to write a new variable. So there will be a hundred of countries list we have for hundred of countries list you will create a hundred variables okay so that will be a more times effort you will be uh, used there so here in shorts i will tell you that array will come at that stage where you can create only a single variables of country and you have to create a hundred list of countries inside one variable only okay so what types of arrays we have we have different types of arrays where we have indexed arrays associative arrays numeric arrays multi-dimensional array and the sorting array here in this lecture we will learn about the indexed array and i will tell you that how this indexed array work here you can see that i just create country and country here is array so i just take the country here is array firstly i just create this country list is usa then here the country list is uk then here we have the country list is Germany and here we have the country list is let's suppose Canada. Now here before that I will tell you about the index array. The index are arrays are also called a numeric array. You can say that these are use of integer as the keys. Their values are stored in linear order only. Here you can see that I just create some of the index right here and here I just write this is 1, 2, 3. Okay. Here you can see that I just indexing this value 0, 1, then 2 and this is 3 right here. Okay. The actual value what we store here are 4. But that is starting from the 0. So here we have the 3 index right here which is starting from 0 to 3. Here you can see that on index number 0 I just store the value number 6 right here, then here the value 3, then here the value 14 and I just write on the index number values 9. Okay, here you can see that this is just an indexing what I am just creating with this array right here. Now here you will see that I just indexing my this code right here. So here on index number 0 we have the value of USA, then index number 1 UK index number 2 Germany and index number 3 we have the value here is Canada. So simply if we need the value on the index number 2 so here we just simply call our values with the help of echo then here is right this will get the country and after getting the country right here I just need the values from the index number 2. Okay let's just see you can see that here we have an array and I just run this code. So line number okay. In line number 12, we have an error. Yes, okay. I just missed this semicolon here. Here you can see on index number two, we have Germany. Just because of an index number one, you have USA. Then index sorry, index number zero, we have the USA. Index number one, we have UK, and index number two, we have Germany right here. From the list of array. So we just get here index number 2 only and that will show us the result right here. This is how you see that that arrays how arrays are work right here. Or one another way you have to write let's suppose PHP and then here you can see that I just write I just close this core right here. Now here one another a way you can declare your array like this so here you can see that you have to write let's suppose countries okay and here we have countries which is equal to array okay firstly i just set 
my variable here a countries is array so remember that array here is a keyword right here when you are just declaring the array you have to write a keyword here which is starting from the array right here okay or this is a syntax of arrays as well here you can see that i just firstly get the list of the countries right here and then after that here i just create or i just want to store some of the value on the index number zero which is equal to let's suppose we have the index number zero and i want to store this values right here which is let's suppose a china okay and after that here you can see that on index number two right here where our index number one where i just want to store some of the values right here let's suppose that is australia and after that here you can see that after this australia here i just want to store some of the value which is austria okay which is on index number two so this is how one another way you can store your indexed wise values into the arrays as well hope so you understand now that how we can store the two types of index array into the php i think so this method is quite simple right here instead of that because the time efforts is much involved in this method right here but it is up to you you can write or you can create any of the array right here hope so you understand now that how we can work with the indexed array in a php if you find any of the uh, prob uh, problem regarding to this lecture like an array in a php please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture Hey guys, welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talking about the associative arrays in a PHP programming language. Associative, associative arrays is different from the indexed in that instead of integers it is used uh, as strings for the keys. Like in our associative array we also use the strings as well but here you can use strings and the keys as well. There is no linear order right here and the developer is free to assign a specific key to any value they use or they store in a php array they create again and again using a php eco array and that will create an array loop as well to results are display or shown to results on the screens as well let's just see how we can create the associative arrays in a php programming language here i just write php then i just close this php tag right here inside that here you can see that i just write same as a case our old example so i just take that example as well here i just write country and country which is equal to array okay here array and the country is same like our old code but here i am just using associative array first only let's suppose i am just write usa usa is the name of the country right here here is right is equal to and greater than sign after that i am just providing the key right here just because of in associative array the keys assigned to the value can be arbitrary and the user defines strings like as you can see here on your screen here I just write that the country code of USA here is 1. Okay, then here you can see that I just write that this is Canada. Or here I just write that that is Germany. Okay, here you can see that the country code of Germany here is 49. Simple. Then here I just write UK and the country code of UK here is equal to and here which is equal to i just write that that is 44 right here okay hope so you understand now and i just close this code right here then here you can see that i just write echo and echo here is let's suppose i am just writing country right here okay or if you want to write country inside quotations or without the quotation so simply this is up to you so that will print the structure of the array right here 
let's just see how so here i just open this into the browser so in line number 13 we have an error so where i just write this is echo and here i just close this okay and this is country right here okay now here i just run this so same error i am facing right here so i just check my core right here which is okay and this is also okay right here so or here you can see that i just replace this with a print r underscore press print underscore r and then create the country name right here so this here print r means that will simply display the information about the variables in a way that is readable by the human let's just see how and here i just run this code again and here you can see that that will show me entire structure of the array like usa is one germany here is two uh, sorry 49 and then uk here is 44 right here hope so you understand now right here that how our associative arrays work and what is the structure of the associative arrays right here now here you can see that i just remove this here and now after that i am just going to create some of the or i just keep this and here i just go to create some of the different code right here firstly i have to create this array and this is let's suppose a country's array where i just create and where i just create this bracket right here and inside this bracket i am just creating some of these information right here now here i am using for each loop why we use for each loop right here and you can close this with a semicolon right here okay now here you can see that i am just creating a for each loop right here and this is for each loop and here i just said that this is dollar sign countries and this is countries right here so countries as here i just create variable a and a which is uh, is equal to and greater than sign which is a underscore here i just get the value right here okay here inside this echo statement so i just close this so in, inside this echo statement here you can see that firstly i will get the key and key which is equal to then here i just concatenate my variable a here then here after that i have to write that value okay and value which is also equal to and here you can concatenate dollar sign a underscore here i just write value so i will get this value as well okay here you can see that and i just write that echo and echo here is let's suppose we have a single line break as well okay here you can see that that you can use this associative array where you can get the keys and the values as well with the help of this associative array as well before running the code here you can see that i just slightly did a little mistake where i just missed the semicolon right here and here this is an array okay so if you are declaring this bracket sign and then semicolon so you don't need to create or you don't need to write the array as a keyword right here okay here you can see that i just save this now i am just running this code again so here you can see that this is our first code which is a complete structure of that and here you can see that firstly that will get the key here which is germany and then we have the key here which is values which is 49 here which is our germany country code same as a case like usa is a key right here and then value of usa here is one and uk here is a key and then value here is 44 so i just print these two together as well hope so you understand now that how this associative arrays work in a php programming language and what is the use of that if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture The multidimensional array is an array in which each element can also be an array and each element in a sub 
array can be an array or further contain array within itself and so on like multi-dimensional arrays are such arrays which is stored in another array at each index instead of single element in other words you may say that we can define multiple dimensional array as an array of arrays as the name suggests every element in the array can be an array with they can also hold other sub array let's just see before going to the multi dimensional array here i just tell you one thing about that however you studied about the matrix so what are the matrix right here let's suppose we have three rows and the three columns here okay here you can see that that i just create three rows and three columns right here same as a case like here i just create three rows and three columns here okay and 15 16 and 17 okay here you can see that so when you are just creating the matrix so here when you just multiply this matrix right here for the zero index right here that will multiply all of these values right here then one so to one here and then two here then three same as the case like three all and then four and then five same as the case like that so multi-dimensional array is also work like matrix how it's work let's just see here i just create let's suppose an array here an array here is country which is equal to here is right this is an array okay then inside this array i just create one another array right here so this is array right here and this array here is let's suppose here we have the name and the name here which is equal to i just write here the name here is let's suppose we have the name bob okay then here i just create some of the you may say that this is the address here of the bob which is equal to here i just write that this is let's suppose xyz street usa okay here after that i will create some of the email of that bob as well so email here which is equal to here i just write that the me email here is let's suppose xyz at gmail.com okay this is how we create a array right here okay this is an array here where you can find the keys and the values as well here after this i just create so here you can see that after this i will create one another array right here so the array here for the another value as well here i just write that that is david and the david here is let's suppose david street usa and then here i just write that this is abc at gmail.com okay here we have at gmail.com so we are creating one another array right here so we have the two arrays right here okay after that here you can see that i just create or i just close this array right here which is a multi-dimensional array so i just take 2d array right here okay here you can see that i just create echo and the echo here which is equal to i just write that that bob information here is and then here i just concatenate dollar sign and then here i just write this is country okay and here i just write this is on index number zero okay then here i just write on index number zero and then here you will print and here you will print the email as well okay and here i just write the email as well and here i just write comma and this is email and here i just write comma and i just write slash and here okay here you can see that i am just accessing the element of that array as well here i just create and here i will go to the multi-dimensional array and then here so you can see here that will print me the informations of the bob firstly here you can see that 
that Bob information is here and I just get only the email from that as well. Okay, here you can see that after this I am just writing here that this is the index number 2 right here and here I just want to get the address of that. Okay, here the information here is David. Now here I just run this code again and here yes we have an error and the error here is inside this line number 2 and the here 28 so here you can see that I just remove this from here and we have an address right here which is 2 and this is the concatenations and this is equal right here yes okay here I am just writing that this is on array number 2 but this is not an array or index number 2 right here because we have the 2 index right here which is 0 and 1 only okay here you can see that when I go to the browser and refresh it again so here we will find that the information of David is here and the David is living in the David street and that will only get the address indexed from that okay here you can see that that will simply get the address from that arrays hope so you understand now that how this multi-dimensional arrays work so simple concept the matrix here okay if you find any of the problem right here in this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about the php sorting arrays php provides a variety of functions and options of for sorting an array the sort functions which includes options for specifying the strings or numeric sort which is in case or which is a case insensitive sort and you may say that this is an uh, convert a numbers into the natural order okay sorting refers to the order data in an alphabetical way numerical order and the increasing or decreasing fashions according to some linear relationships amongst the data items let's suppose we have the data 19 then here i just write 2 then i just write 4 then here i just write 20 then here i just write 5 then here 6 here I just write that this is 56 and this is 99 right here. Now here you can see that I just convert this into the index right here. Okay, here you can see that. These are the sum numbers what I am just writing here. Let's suppose we have index number 0, then 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and at the last we have the 7. Means that we have a 7 index right here and the values here are 8 when I just sort these values so here you can see that I just create let's suppose this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and Eight. okay here you can see that so this is sorry this is two three four five six and seven right here okay here you can see that when it is when I just sort this function or sort this index right here so let's just see firstly I will take the smaller value right here firstly we have the smaller value in this index right here which is two then I just check one another value so 2 3 4 and then this is 5 then here we have the value 6 okay here you can see that or sorry we also have the 4 value so I just write 4 then here I just write 5 and then 6 after this value 6 here so we just go to add 19 value here okay then here we have the 20 value then 56 and then 99 here so here you can see that this is our sort form algorithm and this is unsorted form array right here or you may say that this is unsorted form algorithm right here now here you will see that how i just sort these kinds of values with the help of php 
let's just see you can see here I write that this is sorting array and here you can see that and this is h1 tag right here h1 here you can see that I just create a variable let's suppose which is numbers right here firstly I have to write my PHP code and after that I just close this code right here here I just write number and number which is equal to here is write array okay inside this here you can see that I just write 19 and here is write 4 6 5 8 99 56 and here is write 20 as well okay this is up to you you can sort any of the numbers right here then I just close this code right here and I just use one of the function name which is using a sort so sort is for sorting your numbers right here which is in ascending order okay here you can see that I just write that here I have write this num as the variable right here okay here you can see that I just simply use this sort method right here to sorting my numbers right here now here I just use echo and echo is let's suppose I am just getting the result of this numbers only okay here you can see that let's just see what is happens when I am just uh, running this code right now so here you can see that when I just run this code right here so now here when I just run this code right here so there's an array error just because of you can see here here we just simply get the echo result so that's why the, this function is not taking the result of that sort how we get this sorting algorithm right here and with the help of that we create a new variable here let's suppose we are just creating a new variable here which is array okay and which is equal to here i just write firstly that will count all of these values where these values are saved into the numbers okay and here you can see that i just use for loop so for dollar sign x which is equal to here i just write zero then here you can see that dollar sign x which is less than i just write number and here i just write that x which is plus plus right here okay this is just a for loop what i am just creating right here i just copy and paste it right here and here i just write that this is let's suppose a number and the number here will print our this variable x right here now here you can see that i just write echo and echo is simply i have to write that this is a single line break statement right here and i just remove this okay here you can see that now here when i just run to the browser and when i just run this so we have an error in line number 13 which is for loop and for x here is less than number okay and then here i just write x plus plus okay and the number here is dollar sign okay which is my variable here okay now here when i just go to the browser and refresh this page so we already have an error right here which is let's suppose yes this is x okay now i just run this again so here in the line number 14 we also find an error right here which is echo and this is number and then here so it's fine now you can see the error here is which is uh, showing me that you have missed the offset right here and the offset here is undefined just because of here we need to add the name of array right here because we are getting this count array right here okay here I just save this and here I just refresh it again right here so you can see that firstly we have the some kind of list what is as you can see here which is 19 4 6 5 8 99 56 and 20 right here when i just sort these all values right here so firstly it will sort for 5 6 8 19 20 56 and 99 right here hope so you understand now that how you can sort your values okay here you can see that you can sort any of the values right here firstly that will I just write in a unsort form right here then with the help of this sort function and then here I just simply count use this count method right here 
to counting these all values right here and here you can see that i just simply arrange these all of with the help of this sorting method right here if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to talking about that how you can create the table using for loop in a php programming language for that purpose if we are using the for loop right here so here i just write php so this is a php tag here and now inside that here i just write that this is a for loop and for here i just write let's suppose i which is equal to one which is this loop or this table is starting from the one then here i just write that i just want to create let's suppose three rows right here okay and then here i just write that i plus plus now here i just write that simply write the echo and here i just write that echo here is the tr tag right here okay and i just close this code right here now here I just write for and for here I just write that this is j and I just write here j which is equal to 1 then same as the case like i here I just write j which is less than or equal to here I just write that 2 or here I just write that this is 2 and then here I just write j plus plus right here now after that here i just write that echo and echo here is i have to write that a table data tag right here at first stage you can see here i just define the rows of that then here i just define the table data right here inside this table data firstly i will get the variable i here and inside that here i just write table i then here i just use is tag then here i just use table j okay which is equal to here i just can concatenate i and j which means that that is uh, the cross multiplications of i and j right here and then here i just close this table data tag right here inside this php code okay now after that here i just write that this is echo and echo here is tr tag right here okay now here you can see that now as you can see that i just create some of the table size let's suppose the tables row here are three and the tables are two sides okay which is the columns right here now here you can see that inside this body tag here i'm just defining the table and the table here is firstly i have to align this table which is equal to i just write this is left or you may say that this is right as well now here i just write border of the tables which is equal to here i just write that this is two pixels and then here i just write this is cell padding here which is also equal to here i just write four okay now here i just use cell spacing which is equal to i just write zero right here okay now here this is zero right here now you can see that firstly we have to write alignment of that and then after that we have to set the spacing as well now after that here you can see that i just remove this table tag right here okay hope so you understand now that how we can create the table using php in Firstly, I have to clear some of the error what I am just seeing right here, which is let's suppose this is tr tag, and here we have the echo statement right here. Now, after that, here you can see that we have the dollar sign as well. Now, I'm just running this code right here, and here you can see that this is my output here, and I am just creating one of the table using the PHP, which is which have the two columns and three rows right here you can see that one two and three right here and this is one and two hope so you understand now and this is you can see here i am just creating some of the for loops right here which is the multiplications of the tables 
let's just see what is that logic for here i just write at first stage that is one is equal to one then here you can see that this is one multiplied two which is two means that this is a column number one and column number two right here then here you can see that this is two multiplied by one which is the row number two right here this two multiplied by two which is equal to four which is also in the row number two right here and this is in the column number two you can see here and the row number one right here now here is write three multiplied by one which is equal to three which is in row number three right here and this is here you can see that three multiplied by two is equal to six and which is in column number three right here and row number three here you can see that this is just a multiplication that i did with the help of that statement which is i just write in unequal hope so you understand now that how you can create a simple tables like this in for loop using php if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture